hey guys, how's it going? So, uh, remember when we did that video when we were trying to break the genealogy tree by making the most inbred family possible? Well, turns out I actually found that really fun. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it again. I wanna see how much I can break the genealogy tree. This time is different because this time I don't have a plan, <laughs> which might be better and it might be worse. But I'm basically just going to, I think it's because when I filmed the last video, I did have a plan and it just didn't work. I was going to try and get cousins to have babies and it just wasn't, EA was not allowing it, was not going to be allowed in The Sims 4. So I am just going to try and see how far I can take this. I might turn this, the weather noise down, it's a bit loud. Okay, there we go. The weather is much quieter now. So, I will quickly introduce you to who's who, just so you guys can get acquainted. This sim here is Yumi, and this uh, younger sim giving her attitude is her daughter, Masumi. So they are uh, mother and daughter. In fact, I pretty much every... They're, they're all parents, like one parent, one child. This is Serena and her son, Raymond. And then finally, we have Bernardo. Where are you at, Bernie? Here he is. Grumpy Bernardo, we call him, because he hates kids and he just wants to make everyone miserable. Bless him. Uh, and Bernardo's got a daughter. Where is she? Oh, here she is. Little Betsy. Little Betsy Jones. Yeah. So I think probably the most rational way of doing this is to try and get the son and daughters to have a baby with one of the other's parents. Fuck it, why am I even trying to come up with a plan? There's no point. Let's just do this. There's no point in trying to come up with a plan. So, um, Raymond, we're gonna start with you, buddy. You are gonna pork your friends. Masumi, we're gonna... we'll fuck her mum, Yumi. So let's just quickly cheat their relationship, as you do. We don't have time to be forming meaningful connections. Relationship. True friends. True loves. There we go. You guys are so in love. Go and give her a kiss. Just a little kiss. And then... Bernardo, you can get down here. Because... You are going to impregnate Masumi. Oh, look at him all shy. Being all coy. You better get over that quick. Oh, I always do this. I always give, give them a bath when they should have a shower. Well, I've got a, a bed up here. So, you yeah. know... Try for a baby with Raymond, why not? Go and make some sweet, sweet love, make some sweet, sweet babes. Oh, look how red he is. Oh, bless him. He doesn't know what he's doing. Oh. Um, Bernardo, where the fuck are you, man? Come on. So, Bernardo and Masumi, you guys are gonna be just as in love. Oh, beautiful. Give her a little kiss. So, if these two are gonna have a baby, and the other two are going to have a baby. That leaves... Serena is the only... No, Ser well, Serena and Betsy can't have a baby together. I mean, in fairness, I could just get the men to impregnate every woman that they're not related to, really, couldn't I? That seems like the most logical... Oh, you guys done already? Well, he is young. Um, okay, so... Yumi, go and take a pregnancy to... Why is it not... Did they not even do it? Did you guys not even bump uglies? What's going on? Oh, I see. What is it with these videos where it never happens in any other videos? Always when I'm doing an inbred challenge of some sort that my sims take it upon themselves to make it weird. Guys, guys, I don't think I want to know what's going on or why you're giggling. God, it's wrong. It's wrong. All right, Serena, you're going to have to get out of bed. Go and read a book or something. Go and read something. And you need to wake up, and then... Now we'll, we'll try for baby again. You're slowing the whole process down. Where are you fucking going? No, go here. These sims are going to drive me mad. I swear to God, they're going to drive me mad. Are you going to sleep now? I mean, this does serve me right for putting six sims in a house with one bed. So, admittedly, it's completely my fault. But... Still, pissing me off. I can't believe I actually have to watch you to make sure you guys are not just all mouth and you actually do. Okay, okay. 
I see you. I know what you were doing. You were going to try and cock block your mum. Selfish. Kids, they're so fucking selfish. You know what? I'm also going to get rid of that bath and give them a shower. Just so we have a new woohoo location. Because we really need it. All right. All right. There we go. So now Masumi should be able to try for a baby with Bernardo. Yes. Great. And how are you guys getting on? Still going? Oh, yeah. Still going. So I think those two are just about to... Yeah. Yeah, they are. Okay, great. Great. Uh, so first of all, we just need to check that Yumi is pregnant. Because if she is... Oh, what, you watching porn on the TV? Because if she is, then um, I can just get uh, Raymond to move straight on. Maybe Raymond can have a baby with Betsy. I mean, they'll all be... They'll all be related in some way. Okay. So, Masumi, go and take a pregnancy test. And then Yumi... You can take one after. Give me the good news, Masumi. Give me the good news. Perfect. She's pregnant. Okay, good, good. Yumi, why don't you come take a prego test too? Oh, you know what I should have done? I need to make sure that I've got the maximum uh, number of household members from my MC command center. Otherwise, this is all going to be for nothing. Settings. Okay. So I'm going to change my maximum household. We'll just do 25. Play it safe. 25. That means I'm going to have to uh, restart though, doesn't it? Well, that's okay. I don't mind. Let's just find out if Yumi is pregnant first and then, uh, then we'll restart. Hey, great success. Well, that's two women pregnant. Two out of four. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. So I'm going to do a quick restart. I'll be back in a second. All right, I'm back, and I've done some basic maths. So, there should be a total of six babies being born. Why don't you look very pregnant? There should be a total of six babies because both of the men are related to one of the women, so it means that Masumi and Yumi are both going to have two babies, whereas Betsy and Serena are just going to have one each. So... Betsy and Raymond should have a baby. Oh my god, there's going to be so much jealousy in this house. So much resentment. But that's okay, we like a little bit of drama. So you guys go and have your first kiss. The only thing I don't like with The Sims is that it makes you have a first kiss before you can woohoo. Which, as we all know in real life, it just isn't that realistic. <laughs> I'm joking, obviously. Guys, have your first kiss. Don't stop to have a workout. You'll be exhausted. You're going to be getting some exercise, don't worry. Oh, look, is he a Hufflepuff? Yeah, I think he is. Good on you, mate. Good on you. Very sexually active Harry Potter fan. If that is not living the dream, I just don't know what is. She's wearing Hufflepuff colours for you as well, mate. She might be the one. Guys, come on. There we go. That's the stuff. I'm a bad family member fucking relatives in the shower. Nah, they're not really relatives. I got a couple of comments from some of you. Some of you sick bastards in my last video where you said you should use uh, Wicked Whips because it will let you do actual incest. No, I'm not doing that. That's not the point. <laughs> the point is to test the game's limits. <laughs> Not to get something out of it. That's what happens when, when young people, when youths watch your videos. Fucking sick, you young people. Okay, okay, before you leave the bathroom, find out if you're pregnant first. Find out if you're pregnant first. And then, so he... Is there anyone else he needs to have a baby with? He should have a baby with Masumi, but she's still pregnant right now with Bernardo's baby. Ah, oh, sweet, Betsy's pregnant. Great news all round. So now Serena is the only one left, the only female that is yet to be knocked up right now. So Bernardo, my friend, get yourself down here, clean yourself up. You are needed in action, my friend. Brag about first kiss. Wait, no, I don't mean to do that. Go and have your first kiss. I think Serena's trying to give me a hint with her attire choice. She's like, Carla, I'm ready. You've been bypassing me this whole time. I'm ready to go. All right. All right. You can have your turn now. Try for a baby with Serena. 
Why are you guys just standing outside? That's a really odd thing to do. Why would you go outside to hug and then go back inside? You fucking weirdos. Right, Masumi. Let's, uh, let's pop you in labour, my love. Oh, actually, let me just think for a minute. Let me just think. Just let me... Oh, hold on. Let me just think about this. <laughs> She's so happy with her life, isn't she? Hey, at least she got them nails done, though. Complain about being pregnant, but... Girl, those nails are on fleek. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out, do I need them to be a specific gender for this? There's going to be six babies... Uh, I don't think it matters. I don't think I need to worry. I'm going to try and go for three boys and three girls. But because, she, I mean, it doesn't really matter what she has. She's going to be the first one to give birth. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> so I've put her in labour. Those two, are, they've got a spring in their step. Because they're going to go into the shower. And then Masumi, you can come and have your baby right here. Yumi, I'm worried there's been some sort of glitch. Because she doesn't look pregnant anymore. But... I mean, I guess we'll see. Oh, yeah, she is pregnant. Okay, she just hides it well. So she's going to be in labour too. And then we will... I, you know, I haven't even taken into consideration what um, traits they have from the pregnancy and wellness. I don't even know who wants a baby, who doesn't. Is neutral to being pregnant. Oh, well, that's good news. What about your mum? How does she feel about it? Does not want a pregnancy right now. Oh, dear, sorry about that. And you're going to be the one having two. Okay, we've got one. We will call it Chardonnay. I'm 100% sure I've misspelt that. Are you stuck, Yumi? Can you go anywhere? Oh, dear. She's stuck. Right, I'll tell you what. I'll help you out. I'll help you out. Delete this little bookcase for you. Free you from your restrictions. And then, Yumi, you can go and have your baby over here. And then, Masumi, you can age up little... Little baby Chardonnay, age her up. Why can't you go anywhere? Chardonnay can be silly. There we go, finally. Oh, wait, wait, let me take a look at little Chardonnay. Oh my God. Some people are just born cool. That kid is one of them. That is a cool looking kid. Good on you, Chardonnay, good on you. And they're all on their period as well, so they all fucking stink. Uh, this one can be called Baby Riesling. Anyone notice a pattern? Okay, so you go ahead, age up Baby Riesling. And then Serena, I'm going to, as you're already here, I'm going to go and stick you in labour right now. Uh, now, what gender does her baby need to be? In fact, if I get... Uh, what's she already carrying? A boy. Well, that's okay. Yeah, fine, fine. Oh, someone age Riesling up, please. Little baby boy. Little baby Pinot, Pinot Noir Garvin. Beautiful. All right, less, less time coddling, more time aging them up. Oh, Serena also didn't want to have a baby. Jeez, this, the, all the women in this family, they didn't want their kids. Inquisitive. Let's take a look at Riesling. Ah, oh, what a cute kid. These kids are all really cute, man. Pinot Noir can be fussy. Little baby Pinot Noir. I mean, <laughs> the bowl cut isn't for everyone, but don't worry about it, Pinot Noir. Don't let it get you down. Be your own person. And that's what you're doing, and I respect that. Okay, who's left? Betsy is the last one now to have her baby. So come up here, Betsy. And then in the meantime, Masumi and Raymond can have a good relationship and they can try for a baby. Oh my God, I'm on a roll. Um, true friends, true loves, first kiss. Honestly, it's I'm like robotic at this point. Okay, Betsy, you can um, go into labour. So, she's pregnant with a boy. Again, that's fine. I don't need to intervene there. Go and have your baby. I'm waiting for someone to throw a strop. No one's thrown a, a jealous strop yet. Although they are all upset about how much they all stink. Okay, try for a baby with Raymond. Betsy just gave birth to a boy. Little baby Zinfandel. Or Zinfandel. I don't know how to pronounce that one. And it's one of my favourites. Okay, age it up straight away. No hesitation, as my driving teacher used to say. Accelerator and clutch. No hesitation. Did she also not want one? Oh no, she was neutral to being pregnant. Okay. 
Um, so, there you go, Simfandel. You can be clingy, little little guy. And then, so now we just need, what, one more boy and one more girl, right? Yeah. So Yumi needs to have a baby with Bernardo. And then we've completed the cycle. They've all had a baby with everyone they can possibly have a baby with, which is just great. So come and give him a little smoochy smooch. And then Masumi, go and take a pregnancy test. It's the last one, I promise. I know. I know you don't want this. But sometimes you have to make sacrifices for the sake of God. And in this case, that would be me. Sorry about that. Try for baby with Bernardo. Who's crying? Someone here is hysterically crying. I think it was Betsy? Oh, no, no, it's Serena. Oh, she's jealous. You're getting a little bit jelly, like a little jellyfish. They're both upset. Mother and son, they're like, oh, no, our partners are fucking each other. But that's the way love goes. In The Sims. Wait, did Masumi even take that test? Oh, maybe I missed a notification. Is she is she pregnant? Hey, Masumi is pregnant. Oh. Okay, well let's just stick her in labor right now. So she needs Oh, okay, so we need one boy, one girl. So it really doesn't matter what she's pregnant with right now. Uh she's pregnant with a boy, so that works out just fine. Okay, so Masumi is having her baby. She got crabs. Oh no, she's just cramping. Oh. Jesus, look at all of these mood buffs. A baby boy. Little baby Prosecco. Here we go. And then... Oh, we have the, f the bar has officially got smaller for the family now. Uh, Yumi, let's get you on the toilet. So that should be it now for the children of this generation. Let's just take a very quick look at... Family trees, okay, okay. So Yumi has got two grandchildren and two children. What does Riesling's family tree look like? Okay, nothing too crazy, nothing too complicated. What about her half-brother? Yeah, again, all above board, nothing too crazy. Yeah, I mean, that, that looks, that's fine. Nothing too crazy. You know what would be crazy? If Betsy married Serena. That might make the family tree a little bit more interesting. I, I'm at the point now where I'm just like, fuck it, in for a penny, in for a pound. Let's let's take this as far as we physically can. And don't worry about it, Serena, your boyfriend cheated on you. So, marry his daughter. Ultimate revenge. Oh dear, I think my game is struggling to handle the amount of sims I have in this house because my sims are just sort of teleporting places. Okay, you guys, have your first kiss. Oh, stop being so dramatic. So these two can have their first kiss, then I'm gonna get them to get married. Yumi, is she not pregnant? Yumi is not pregnant, maybe next time. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, try for a baby with. I can't even remember who she's supposed to be having a baby with. Was it Bernardo? Yeah, it was Bernardo. And then you two can get engaged. <laughs> Did anyone spot that? I'm just walking across the stairs. Oh, funny. Okay, okay. Why can't either of you propose? It's because you need to ask her to be your girlfriend first. Okay, okay. <laughs> There's the, what's going on in the background. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, well, this has been fun. Let's take it to the next level. Uh, propose. <laughs> it's just the shower door banging in the background of this wholesome moment. <laughs> oh. Oh. No protection was used. Great success. You know what, Yumi, before you go anywhere, I am sitting you on that toilet. Because I know what you're like. You'll run off somewhere, go read a book or something. Good on you, miserable Bernardo. Hopefully this experience has helped you be less miserable. Okay, so they're going to elope immediately. So they're going to be married. Oh, please tell me Yumi is pregnant. Yumi is not pregnant. You know what? This is my own fault. I should have had a foolproof system in there, and I didn't. Ugh, pregnancy and family. Um, her pregnancy risk 
100%. Okay, try for a baby again. God, you and Bernardo, this will be the third time. This is the most serious relationship Bernardo has ever had. Yeah, my sims are just fucking teleporting here, there and everywhere right now. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could technically say that we have broken the game, but not through the genealogy tree, but that that's gonna happen. It'll happen. Guys, hurry up and say you're married. Aww. Right, I think they're married now. Yes. Oh, here we go. Okay. So things are starting, the cracks are starting to show now, because Zinfandel, his, um, his stepmother is also his grandmother. What about Bernardo? What's his... So what about Pinot Noir? Okay, so Pinot Noir, his family tree is also a bit broken because he has Betsy as his stepmom and also his sister. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Got to laugh. Got to laugh. Is there anyone else I could m maybe marry off? What if he marries... Let's take a look. Oh, he doesn't have a baby with Yumi yet. So when he does, I might get him to marry either Masumi or Yumi, and that should break their family tree as well. And then we'll work on the next generation. I'm just literally going with anything I can think of that could do some damage on this family tree. But it's like with the last video, I go in with the intentions of, you know, making it weird with an inbreeding challenge. They outweirded me. They did things by choice, you know. Siblings sleeping in the same bed together, doing weird stuff under the sheets. I mean, you couldn't write it. You couldn't make it up. So, once I'm at a point where Masumi has an aged up baby from Bernardo, I'm going to put all of the babies as young adults and then figure out who can reproduce with who, if anyone can. I'm sure there must be some that can reproduce with one another. Also, there was method to giving them all alcohol names. It's so that I don't mix them up with the others, because it's really hard to remember so many names. Bernardo literally just went, woohoo, while doing that in the shower. How awkward would it be if you were woohooing with someone and like midway through? <laughs> like, obviously, sometimes people make funny noises, whatever. But if someone literally was like, woohoo, I think it would be a bit weird. But then, what do you know? I like to be thanked every time, so could be worse. Uh, okay, she's pregnant, finally. So she needs to have a girl. And she's pregnant with one male. Well, you know, that's not gonna do. We're gonna need to change that. So now she should be pregnant with a girl in labor. If she can even like make her way to the bassinet. Oh, who's that? Is that Prosecco? No one aged Prosecco up. Someone age up Prosecco, will you? Take it up space in the baby crib. For a second there, it looked like Prosecco had two heads. I thought maybe, maybe this is punishment for what I'm doing. Maybe this is the game's way of trying to give me some kind of moral compass. Oh, Prosecco. You can see the mixture in jeans though, because none of them have got blonde hair. But Prosecco does. Again with the bowl cut. A baby girl. Little baby cab sav. Okay. It's another baby that was unwanted. <laughs> uh, I do feel a bit bad, but not really. Okay, so let's try and age some babes up. So, starting with Chardonnay, set you as a young adult. Oh, it didn't even let me finish the name. So her name's Cabernet Savi. I didn't even notice that. Chardonnay... Hot-headed, let's spice things up. Take a look at little Sar Chardonnay. She is the spitting image of her father. I can't even remember who her mum is. Oh, I think that's her. I think Masumi's her mum. Okay, Riesling, where you at, kid? Riesling's gonna be a young adult now. Let's have a look. I mean, Riesling, she's a very pretty sim, actually. She's turned out very pretty. Will you stop fucking moaning? Uh, who's next? Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir's a pretty hip kid, actually. Pretty hip. Zinfandel, your turn. Zinfandel is uh, <laughs> quite a cool guy himself. Oh, the only problem is he's got an oversized accessory, which uh, 
I don't think that one actually came with the LGBTQ plus mod. I think it was a separate add-on I bought. Uh, I downloaded for a uh, pose, but it's a little bit distracting and I can't go in cast because we all know what happened last time I did that. So, okay, okay Zinfandel, well you, you just enjoy yourself, okay? Capsav, your turn. <laughs> Cab Sav actually looks pretty much 50-50 like her, like her mum and dad. Like she's got her dad's jawline, but she does, she, you can tell she's Yumi's daughter as well. Uh, and Prosecco, I think you are last on the list now. Let's take a look at you, Prosecco. Prosecco's a good looking lad. And he knows it. Yeah, these sims haven't turned out half bad actually. Um, now I was going to marry a couple of sims, wasn't I? Let me just remind myself who was going to get married. I think I was going to have Bernardo. That's interesting. So Cab Sav doesn't fall under Yumi as a mother unless if I click on her, then she does. But according to Bernardo's timeline, wait, whose timeline was I on? Wait, I'm just getting confused now. <laughs> right, okay, the point I'm trying to make is I think Yumi and Bernardo need to get married. I think that's what I'm, what I'm, that's the conclusion I'm coming to. Now where is Yumi? There she is. The house is getting pretty crowded. If it was bad with six sims and one bed before, it's only gonna get worse now. So now you can propose. And then once they're married, I'm gonna take another look at the family tree and figure out who should have a baby with who. Okay, so these guys are getting married right now. Okay, perfect. Right. So Zinfandel, Riesling is his half-sister. So he should be, theoretically, able to woohoo with any of the other two girls. Where are you, Zinfandel? There you are. So Zinfandel and Chardonnay should be able to have a baby. No, they can't. They can... Hmm, he can offer her a massage. Is it because... Oh, so the other girls are his cousins. So there's literally no one he can woohoo with. He can't woohoo with his grandma. He might be able to woohoo with Serena. But this means then that the kids can't woohoo with anyone. Yeah, she can't woohoo with anyone because she's related to all of them. The only one she's not related to is Zinfandel. Symphondel, I mean, I could just try giving him a romantic relationship with everyone and just by process of elimination figure out who he can have a baby with. Or he can do stuff with Masumi. Go and give Masumi a kiss then. They're not too close to, uh, to not be able to reproduce. What is Masumi to him? Let's take a look. Masumi is his sister's sister. Wait. Yeah, so Masumi isn't Zinfandel's relative, but Masumi is his half-sister's half-sister. And she's also his sister-in-law. Or his, da his dad's... Wait. <laughs> hey, all I know is that we're gonna make it work, and that's the main thing. Oh, we're having a mare. Everyone's just freaking out, disappearing places. I don't know what the fuck Masumi is doing. <laughs> She's warming her hands on the stairs. Okay, I think they are going to go in for their first kiss now, though. I feel like Big Brother. Try for baby with Masumi. Perfect. Oh, but some selfish prick has taken over the shower. Why don't you guys use the bed instead? The flag coming with you? Perfect. <laughs> Now, in the meantime, I wonder if there is anyone... Oh, no, is Chardonnay going to get upset that her brother's shagging her aunt? <laughs> right, Chardonnay. I wonder if there's anyone she can try and reproduce with. Well, she can't do it with Prosecco, because she's her... So I think we've established she can't do it with anyone else in her same generation. She can't do it with Bernardo, because he's her dad. Oh, but you know who she can do it with? Pinot Noir's dad. Oh wait, no. Pinot Noir's half-brother, Raymond, he can do it with. See, they're already on the family tree, Chardonnay and Raymond. I wonder if they can reproduce though, that's the point. Oh no, Raymond's really sad, what's wrong? Doomed relationship from jealousy. <laughs> oh dear, Raymond. 
You wear your heart on your sleeve, my friend. Well, on the bright side, I think he can have a baby with Chardonnay. So we'll give that one a go as well. Sure. Oh, Masumi, you done? Why don't you come and uh, take a pregnancy test? And then Raymond, I'm just going to get rid of your sad buff. Pissing me off. So Raymond, you can come here and give Chardonnay a kiss. She's the real girl of your dreams, trust me. So much mixing in this family. Oh, we can't try for a baby with her yet. Oh no, oh no. She's dying from laughter. Betsy's dying from laughter. <laughs> what was so funny? You've been cheated on so many times. Why, what, how did you die from laughter, Betsy? Oh shit. I really hope that doesn't ruin my family tree. Hopefully that doesn't put her daughter off from wanting to have sex either. Because that would just be the worst. Oh, it's not her daughter, it's her sister. That's it, guys. Go and do your business in the shower. Don't worry about the corpse upstairs. Don't let that get in the way of you two kids having fun, okay? That's right. Oh, it's so sad, isn't it? To lose the life of someone so young. Oh. On the bright side, it's not all doom and gloom. Kids will be kids. Okay, uh, so now you can take a pregnancy test. I don't think I, I don't think Masumi even confirmed she was pregnant, did she? Masumi is pregnant. Great, great. I'm gonna try and get them to have one boy, one girl. Although I don't really know why, because I'm sure that their children will not be able to mix with each other, as in like they won't be able to also breed. But we'll try. Take this as far as we can. I'm committed. Guys, this place is really turning into a shithole now. Someone's got to take responsibility. All the women in this house and not one of you can pick up a broom. <laughs> uh, she's hysterical. Oh no, it must run in the family. Chardonnay is pregnant. She must have really wanted a kid then. Right, Chardonnay, I'm going to put you in labour. She's pregnant with a boy, so fine. Chardonnay, you just make your way past the urn of your dead sister. Go and have that baby. And then Masumi, you can come up here too. Oh, they're happy families. Are you guys still moping about the shop? They're so miserable. Not Prosecco, though. <laughs> Prosecco likes to look at the positives. Oh, bless. I feel like Prosecco is the good-looking, like, dumb one who just <laughs> doesn't really understand the gravity of things that are happening around him. Doesn't really take notice of anything happening around him. Okay, Chardonnay is having her baby. Oh, we've got one, perfect. Uh, we will call this one Gobshite. I am running out of ideas and creativity now. Oh, uh, what a little baby Gobshite. Oh. Age it up, don't walk away, age it up for God's sake. Go on, Bernardo, you can do the deed. Age up. He can be a charmer. Give give him something redeeming for his unfortunate name. Betsy has sent Gobshite a gift. Oh, nice. Okay, Masumi, your turn. So I want to try and make it so that Masumi has a girl. Oh, which is perfect, because she's already pregnant with a girl. Great news. A baby girl. Affectionately called Barbecue Ribs. I wonder if uh, our family, our dead family member has left a present for Barbecue Ribs as well. Barbecue Ribs is very special, she doesn't even drink milk. We just feed her a bottle of barbecue sauce, that's how she lives. Oh yeah, Betsy did send a present for Barbecue Ribs. Oh, uh, you know, I wish, I wish there was the option to just select spicy. What suit, uh, wild. Yeah. Cute kid, cute kid. All right, all right, we've all had some fun. Um... Barbecue ribs, we're just gonna get you into young adult life state. Let's take a look at you. She's actually really pretty. Beautiful. Good for you, barbecue ribs. What about gobshite? So after breeding the whole family, we're left with two redheads. I guess that's one of the strongest genes. Gobshite's not too bad looking either. Let's take a look at their family trees. Okay. Uh, so do we have any reoccurring faces? Doesn't look like it. Not on Gobshite's family tree. It looks pretty much all in order. It's not too confusing. What about Masumi? Again, Masumi, not too crazy. 
Chardonnay. Okay, so Chardonnay, we've got a couple of repeated faces. Mainly just Yumi appears there twice. So there's no option for her to have any romantic relationship with Gobshite. I mean, I wonder if I click on add relationship with barbecue ribs. Oh, I can only add her as a daughter, sister or mother, not as a wife. Shit, man. So I think this is as far as we can go. So what have we got? Uh, it's just, a, it's a bit messy. It's not as broken as the other one was. But you know what I could do? I could find the family from the first video and then have their, the youngest generation have children with this family and just have like an epic genealogy tree and try and get it to be as fucked up as possible in so many places. Maybe I will. The mind boggles. With that being said, I think I am gonna leave this video here. I think I'm probably gonna make another one because I'm not, I'm not overly happy with the results. I mean, we did break the genealogy tree because we had the same sim occur twice in places, but at the same time, I've broken it worse before, so it's not, it didn't turn out as well as I thought it could. Maybe I should have done a bit more planning. Anyway, uh, I'm going to end this video here. Please leave me a comment if you can think of any suggestions as to what else I could do within the game without using too many mods other than MC Command Center to try and make the most complicated family tree possible. And uh, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.